What if the ticking you're hearing in your Cummins engine isn't just noise, but the sound of thousands of dollars about to vanish? Camshaft and lifter failure isn't just an inconvenience. It's an engine killer hiding in plain sight. And if you drive a Cummins, especially a 5.9 L or 6.7 L, you need to hear this before that engine knocks itself into an early grave. Now, before you say, well, it's running fine now, so are most of the engines that failed. That's the trap. This issue doesn't scream for attention, it whispers. And by the time it starts yelling, the damage is already done. So what causes it? Why is it happening more often now than it did years ago? And most importantly, how can you catch it before it destroys your bottom end? Let's break it down. The camshaft is the heartbeat of your Cummins. It synchronizes valve timing with piston movement, and the lifters ride along those cam lobes, translating rotational movement into the rhythmic opening and closing of valves. But here's the scary part. When lifters fail, they don't do it quietly. They grind. They flatten lobes. They throw off timing. And if left unchecked, they can grenade your entire engine. Now here's where it gets wild. Many of these failures aren't from abuse. They're from design quirks, soft metal lifters, or inadequate oiling, especially in aftermarket builds or remands. Some 6.7S, for example, use roller lifters with needle bearings that wear down prematurely. And once those tiny needles scatter through the oiling system, it's game over. Ever seen metal shavings in your oil and thought, huh, must be break-in residue? Yeah, keep thinking that, and you'll be shopping for short block soon. But what's causing these failures to increase lately? There's a storm brewing beneath the surface. Poor oil change intervals, low Z to DP modern oils that reduce wear protection, and cheaply rebuild heads are all part of the problem. Even cylinder deactivation in some models increases cam wear. Add in tighter EPA emissions regulations, forcing more complex valve control systems. And suddenly, your lifter isn't just lifting, it's suffering. Now here's your pattern interrupt. Imagine your camshaft as a nightclub DJ, and the lifters are the crowd. If the DJ keeps the beat, the party stays smooth. But if he trips, misses the drop, and the crowd stumbles chaos. That's your valve train when a lifter sticks or collapses. So, how do you stay ahead of disaster? First, listen closely. A ticking noise that changes with RPM is your first red flag. Don't ignore it. Second, watch your oil. Always run high-quality diesel oil with proper additive packages. Third, if you're rebuilding, upgrade to tool steel lifters or consider billet camshaft options with improved hardness ratings. And finally, Here's the cliffhanger. There's one preventative step almost nobody talks about, and it might be the cheapest insurance for your valve train. But I'll cover that in just a moment. You've made it this far. So here's the tip that could save your engine. Always pre-lube your lifters and prime your oil system before the first startup after a build. Dry starts are silent killers. And if you're swapping in a reman engine, pull the valve cover and inspect cam and lifter wear before firing it up.